Hello. Shalom to all my brothers and sisters all over the world. This is Isaac coming to you today with a short little message. I get a lot of questions about, and there seems to be a lot of confusion about what does God expect of mankind. We have Jewish people, we got a good idea what God expects of us. Keeping the mitzvot, keeping the commandments, obeying the voice of God. But what about the rest of mankind? What does God really expect of mankind? And is there anywhere in the Tanakh which is actually really clear without any confusion, without any controversy, is there one verse or one chapter in the whole Tanakh which explains what God expects of all mankind? And yes, there is. If you'll look in Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13 and 14, you'll find these words. Let us hear the whole conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Now I want you to read that. Because there's a lot of things being said on YouTube and all over the internet and all over, the, it seems to be, in a lot of different circles, that God has no plan for mankind. Now, if we was to translate that from Hebrew to English, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, without adding anything to it, no paraphrasing, no nothing, this is how I would read, literally, in the English. Let us hear the whole matter. Conclusion. Fear God and keep his commandments. This for all mankind. Don't take my word for it. Go and get you an interlinear of the Hebrew. The Moresic text. And read it for yourself. Leave out the ands and the other things that was putting in and just read it word for word from Hebrew to English and this is what you get. Let us hear the whole matter, the conclusion. It's very simple. Fear God, keep his commandments. For this, for, this for all mankind. You can't argue with it. Whatever you want to believe. You can't dis, disprove it. It is actually the scriptures of tonight. Why? It can't be clear. So what does God require of, all, require of all mankind? To fear God and keep his commandments. That word commandments, mitzvahs. If you'll search the Tanakh, you'll find out that mitzvahs is the commandments of God. It uses it singular in some places. It uses it plural in some places. But it's the commandments of him. Where do we find the commandments of God? In the Tanakh, in the Torah. That's the commandments of God. That is what is required of all mankind. And it's very interesting that word used for man that you'll see in, in the Hebrew Bible is the word Adam. And that first word Adam is made, is used in Genesis where God created Adam or the Hebrew name Adam. So he's talking about the creation of man. That's what's required of all mankind. The Adam is to keep his commandments and fear God. Why should we do that? Because in verse 14 it tells us that for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Yes, there's a judgment coming for all mankind. That means me you and anybody else that's born of the seed of a woman, there's coming a judgment for all mankind. And God will bring every work into judgment, whether it be good or whether it be bad. So it behooves us, my friend, that we keep the commandments of God. Well, I'm not, I'm not Jewish. It doesn't matter. Well, I'm not a member of the Orthodox community. It doesn't matter. I'm not a Karyot. It doesn't matter. That's why we're here to tell you. You can become converted and be a part of the Karyot community if God's calling you. If God's not calling you, 
by no means you don't need to join. You don't need to even think about conversion. But if God's calling you to be a part of Israel, to join his people, and to take upon yourself the covenant, then it would be in your best interest to do that. Because God will bring every work into judgment. It's the duty of all mankind to fear God and keep his commandments. You know, and this brings us to another interesting point. Lights unto the nation. You hear a lot of messages on we're supposed to be lights unto the nation, Israel. I agree 100% with that. In Exodus 19, 5 and 6, it says, Now therefore, if, we obey my, if you obey my voice, indeed, and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me and all people, for the earth is mine. And you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. If you are an Israelite, or if you've been converted into the family of Israel, then we're supposed to be a nation of a kingdom of priests. Who are we going to minister to? The whole world. We're supposed to be lights into the nation. We're supposed to be spreading the truth of God's covenant to the whole world. Ah, oh, Brother Isaac, is that really true? I've heard so much of people saying, ah, Judaism does not evangelize. It's not meant for us to evangelize. I don't agree with that. Believe what you want to believe, but I'm just going to believe the Tanakh, what the Scripture says. It says in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 3, and I want to go over this with you. And said unto me, Thou art my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified. God called Israel to be a servant which he may glorify himself in Israel, in his people. Verse 49, 6, Isaiah 49, 6 says, And he said, It is a light thing that you shouldest be my servant to rise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore and preserve Israel. I also will give thee for a light unto the Gentiles that thou mayest be be my salvation unto the end of the earth that you may be my salvation to the end of the earth so Israel's supposed to be lights unto the Gentiles we're supposed to declare the salvation of our God according to Isaiah I know many people don't like Isaiah that pesky prophet who prophesies to Israel telling us that we're not doing things right telling us that we're we're in sin telling us that we're our sacrifices and all this is, is, is just annoying to our God. But he's telling us the truth. Our position as Israel has become lights, become priests unto the nations of the world to declare to them the mitzvahs of our Father, the mitzvahs of God, the mitzvahs of the commandments of our Lord, telling the whole world, you need to fear God and keep his commandments. Some say, oh, yeah, but we don't really know about that. Okay, let's go a little further. Proverbs 11.30. It says, The fruit of righteousness is a tree of life, and he that wins sows is wise. Who sows are we supposed to win? If we're to be lots in the nations, if we're supposed to be priests, a kingdom of priests, and Isaiah plainly points it out, that we're supposed to be declaring the salvation of the Lord, then whose souls are we supposed to win? We don't need to win our own souls. We are the believers in, in Hashem. We're already part of Israel. Do I need to go to my next door neighbor and convert him? Or a believer in Hashem already? Do I need to go knock on his door and say, Hey, look, I need to save you. I need to declare the, 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 the covenant of God. I need to declare the commandments of you. No. We are a nation of priests, a holy nation. And our mission as God's people is to spread forth the true salvation of our God. It is our responsibility to share the truth with the nations. It's our responsibility to be that priest, to be that light, 
to be that voice to tell people there is a better way. And that way is to keep the commandments of our God, to fear Him, the true and living God. That's who we're supposed to declare. Not some kind of foreign God, not some kind of trumped up idea, not some kind of strange new terms. My friend, one day we're all going to stand before God. And that's going to be the God of Israel. Not the God of Muhammad, not the God of Buddha, not the, the God of Confucius or whatever you want to call it. One day we all will stand before the real, true, and living God. The one that was, the one that is, the one that is to be. Everyone should stand before Him and give account of every work they've done, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And God's commandment to you today, my friend, is to keep the commandments of God and fear Him. If you need help with conversion, email us. We'll help you in any way we can. Our door is open. Carry Out Judaism International opens our doors to all people. We're not racist. We're not trying to, to develop some kind of club. All we're here for is to tell the truth of God's Word. And that truth is that you are responsible to keep the commandments of God. Shalom, and God bless you.